by what we see. Right. And God said, no, nah, some things you ain't going to be able to see, but you're going to have to believe me. That's because it, see, man. when you look at Ephesians um, 1, look at verse 3. It says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. So where are your blessings at? In heavenly places. So what does it say? He has blessed us with what? Every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. As he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. So you got people want to walk in the supernatural. Want to walk in the power. But want to live in a kind of way. See, this here is a prerequisite because all our blessings is in heaven. All right. It said he already gave us every spiritual blessing. See, he already gave it to us. The only thing is we just got to receive it. How do you receive it? When you believe and you confess. And see, the thing is, but in order for you to get it, listen to what it says. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he has made us accepted in the beloved. You got to know I'm already accepted in the, be in the beloved of Christ Jesus. Right. In other words, I'm already accepted in his family. Mm -hmm. He said, I already gave you the spiritual blessings. I already gave you the provision, uh -huh. but I need you to walk it out and I need you to believe it. Because how did you get saved? You confessed Confess with your mouth and, and you believed in your heart and he came in. Amen. How come we stop right there as far as receiving supernatural blessings? Well, I, I just believe him to come in that yeah. way. But he said, okay, you can be healed. You can cast out that demon. But we don't need confessing and believing with, with that. You got to understand the same way he came in is the same way we got to occupy. Because he already told us back in Genesis, I created man in the likeness and image. He created us male and female. See, we got to understand that we are ambassadors of Christ Jesus. What does that mean? In other words, he has given us power and authority to occupy on this earth realm as if he was here. So in other words, when you open up your mouth and you speak it to your, 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 your wallet or your purse or your debt or whatever it is, you got to understand that debt, that spirit, that demon that's behind it, it does not hear you. It hears God. I don't feel like, cause I feel like ain't nothing happen. It don't have. You don't have to feel it with your flesh. Come on. Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. All thing he need for you to do is to believe it. I'm going to confess it. That this day I command you, you're going to have to go in the name of Jesus. I speak to this wallet. You will never be broke. You will never be empty. You will always have cash flow. Come on here. Money is drawn to me. Money is coming to me from the north, from the south, from the east or the west. I'm anointed to increase. You got to begin to speak it over your life. Come on here because think about it. We so anointed. Think about it. You won't have a baby. You name that baby. Now when you call that baby his name, don't it respond to the name you call it? So what make you think when you talking to your wallet, you talking to your purse, you talking to your situation, don't you know it got to respond to the name, to the words, that what you calling it? It would be no sort of shit if, I, if God had gave me the name to put over it. You understand what I'm saying? We, 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 we see it with everything else, but we don't see 